Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's find out together what's coming through for you. Energies for you, the Eight of Cups and the Nine of Cups, the Five of Swords and the Three of Wands. Energies for your person, the Nine of Wands and the Six of Pentacles, the Six of Wands and the Hierophant. Between you and your person, we have the Three of Cups, meeting energies, the King of Swords and the Page of Cups the Two of Cups and the Four of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, the Oracle cards, not for you and orphaned. So guys, it seems that some of you can find out or have already found out that your person of interest took advantage of you. They are not free. They are in another relationship, Hierophant Energy. They thought they were smart when they got the chance to interact with you without letting you guys know that they were not single, they pretended to be, and the situation with you took off kind of pretty quickly. You were unaware of what was going on. And at some point, again, some of you have already found out what is the game that this person is playing. Others of you may have to face this type of disappointing realization. And so you can basically figure out that there is a three of cups, a third party situation that has been unfolding kinda to your own detriment. This person, quite an individual guys, they can even be married. They can play victim, nine of ones, but there is a one man up, one man down dynamic, six of pentacles influenced that not only they pursued, but they also fueled for a meaningful amount of time, it seems, because I want to say that some of you thought that this person was kind of interesting and you saw potential in favor of the connection with this individual. Now the two Oracle cards that we got are straight to the point, not for you and orphaned, which is a five of cups energy for me. So the five of swords, is an ego-driven energy. It is for me the opportunity to deal with someone that wants to have the last word only for the pleasure to do so when in reality it doesn't really matter. So the people in the background at some point can realize that the situation is tremendously unfair and the wisest possible move is the one to remove from the situation. Your person of interest is basically the figure in green and red, so the bearer of the three of swords. You had some expectations in favor of this connection. You have to re-evaluate them completely, three of ones. You may have to turn your back on this person. If you so value nine of cups in favor of this connection, now there is going to be the eight of cups coming up on an energy level. Moon in the background, so secrets, lies, shenanigans, let's say, an illusion that this person contributed to manifest. And then in the meeting of the energies, guys, we got the double Knight of Pentacles that in this case is the offer of commitment that never comes because your person of interest is not in the position to make that type of offer to you. There can be an apology, Page of Cups, that you can receive in a conversation, King of Swords, that is going to be extremely unpleasant because you will come to that conversation well prepared. You will have all the clarity that you need about the situation because the King of Swords can connect all the dots about a particular circumstance that maybe is not exactly fair and positive. And then we have the Two of Cups, which is maybe a thought that you have made in favor of this connection. For me, it is the chance to grow together with a special person. This is not an option in a scenario like this one. That's why the figure in red in the Eight of Cups can look for the energy elsewhere. And the Four of Cups makes the point because the divine offer that we see was your willingness to invest your time and energies in favor of the connection with this person, but they were, they are, the figure under the tree, interested only in a three of cups situation, we got the energy, and so 
also someone that is not deserving of the opportunity to receive a gift from the heart that maybe you were willing to share with this person, only to find out how unfair they can be. So what should you focus on in a situation like this one? We have the Nine of Pentacles. This is the single lady looking for a fair companion. This person is not a fair companion for you, not for you, nope, from the Oracle card. They pretended they were single, but there is a Hierophant energy involved in the mix and that situation, the irony of this scenario is that the Hierophant situation for your person of interest can even be a positive one but they are a tremendously unfair individual, so we can feel sorry even for the official partner of this person. Eight of Swords, this is a dead end, guys. Some of you can feel in this way as soon as you find out what's going on or when you found out what's going on. But then the way out is in front of the lady. This is a matter of realizing that there is no real chance to build anything with this person. Look, Three of Pentacles on point, the Ace of Cups, a gift from the heart. We called for it a couple of moments ago. And the Sun, this is about clarity. This is about turning on the light. This is about the opportunity to realize that we cannot amplify our inner happiness in a situation with someone that took advantage of us. Kind of thinking that they were, they are smart enough to get away with their actions. Not this time, not this time. And for some of you, there can be disappointment related to the fact that you thought that the connection could have been a positive opportunity. Now you have to look for the sun elsewhere in order to honor the three of one's energy. So what's the obstacle? other than the third party situation and the unfair behavior of your person of interest. Star, there cannot be a wish granted in a scenario like this one. And some of you got the chance to be more intimate with this person. They saw an opportunity, they took it and ran away with it. For them, it was good until it lasted. So unfair, this person. Ace of Wands. This is on point. This is an extremely phallic energy, guys. This energy played a role in this situation. It was what your person of interest wanted to ignite with you. And you thought that the opportunity was deserving, only to find out that it was not the case. Now, this energy is going to be denied. Wheel of Fortune, time is ticking, time is almost up for this unfair situation. You have to go through a rite of passage that can set you free from this unfair person, even if they will try to play victim one last time. Do not fall for that. It's a mind game, guys. And you can see it clearly now because of the Five of Swords. So the sooner you move on, Eight of Cups, the better is going to be for you. Let's ask for guidance about this situation. Here we go. We have the Hanged Man, which is an uncomfortable position, an uncomfortable situation, but also an energy about clarity, enlightenment, and for me, the chance to change our mind about a particular situation or a person. It's on point, guys. And then we have the magician, which is a call to action. A call to action in order to manifest a vision. A vision in favor of a romantic connection, Ace of Cups, with the true potential to be successful, Sun, because the foundations, Three of Pentacles, are strong enough to stand the test of time. This is a difficult realization for some of you. 
a difficult realization to face, but a crucial one in order to set yourself free from a connection that was basically an illusion. Your person of interest was pulling the strings of the situation. They made you guys believe that something was available when in reality it was never the case for them. So the orphaned oracle card, five of cups type of energy, can be considered as a missed opportunity, but in this case, the chance for you to put a closing point on this connection is going to be a blessing in disguise because it's like waking up from kinda a dream, let's say, that lasted for a while but was not real. And reality can sink in pretty quickly as soon as you find out or you have found out that there was a third party situation unfolding basically without your acknowledgement, you know? You were not aware of the situation. You thought that this person was free. They were not, they are not. And so if you want to manifest a vision in favor of the Ace of Cups that can even represent the chance for you to amplify your inner happiness, you have to free yourself from this stuck situation and move on. We are not there yet, Wheel of Fortune, but we are going there, guys. And the King of Swords conversation will offer you the way out from this connection. And as soon as you see the way out, you have to take it without looking back because this person will still try to play victim and make you feel kind of guilty for the decision to end a situation that for this person was super fun. You know, it's like you can take away the toy from them. If you ask me, you should. And then so long. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.